All right, guys, I've gone up a bit earlier to record this one because the Shanghai Major update has dropped, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen. So the next time you log into CS, you will see something pop up like this. Now, thankfully, there wasn't a huge wait between the RMRs finishing and then this dropping, but let's just get right into it. So for this, you're going to open it up. Now, I have bought one already, so you can see I've got it ready to activate. So I'm going to activate mine, and then I'm going to take you guys through it. i got to say, I do like that they went with my... I would predict it. It's the Year of the Dragon. I think it's Year of the Wood Dragon, to be exact, but... I thought it was going to be dragon themed and it is, which is great. I'm glad that's happened. First up, the coin that you get. This is the bronze bronze one. The coin already looks fantastic. This is better than what we had for, say, like Paris, Copenhagen. So I'm a big fan of this. I think in gold and platinum, or sorry, not platinum, gold and diamond, this is going to look really nice. So whenever you click into it, this is the sort of screen you're going to get hit with. Now, if you played the pick games and were involved in the major at Copenhagen, this was the new system that Valve brought in. So a couple of small things immediately. You'll see here there are souvenir packages available for 239. Um, we have to wait for matches to be finished though to be able to buy them. Or you can use your tokens, which you can see there above my thing on the left hand side here. I have three souvenir claims left. So whenever matches play, I'll be able to claim three. The further I progress through pickems, the more I will get. You then have these stickers, which I'm going to do a separate video on, uh, which will come out later. So I'll sort of glide over that. You've got Legends, Contenders, and Challengers. Legends, with the teams in it, looks incredibly good, just to mention. We have Team Graffitis, which you can see here. You can pick whichever one you want to go for. Now, I personally... Navi, back-to-back, -back, sounds pretty good. Also, Mongols winning, like, their first big event ever in, like, uh, in Asia's Oil would be super cool. And I think Mouse with, if it's small stadiums, have a chance. But for the green vibes, I'm going to click FlyQuest and just be chill with it. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see the Pick'em Challenge, which has these stamps that you can run through. So... Basically, when you activate your coin, that means you're going to get like a, a step completed for it. Now, once I place all 10 predictions, which I'll do now with you guys, that will give me a tier. I have to get five correct pickems out of this to be able to advance. So I just have to get five of the 10. I can't remember if that's higher or lower than it was before. All right, I've opened up my old video for this. It was still five back then. I just got absolutely screwed in opening stage. That's why I ended with a gold coin last time. And oh, so far, all I've played major-wise is Rio, Paris, and Copenhagen. I got gold for all of them. I always just slipped up with one team just screwing me at some point. So now is the time to get diamond coin. So basically, you just have to make sure you do this and actually lock them in. And then obviously, one of the steps is getting them correct. So I would suggest following some of my advice for what i'm saying here but also check out people like launders uh and there's a handful of other creators you'll see posting videos of on the pick'em so like sort of watch a few of those videos and then with your own sort of like ideas and what you think is going to happen do that so so like, let's get straight into it for the pick'em stage obviously we can't do elimination stage yet because we don't know eight of the team so it has to be opening stage now there is a website that has a bracket generator that helps sort of go through this and I'll showcase it afterwards. But my O and 3 picks are actually going to be the bottom two teams you see here. It's going to be Rare Atom and it's going to be Imperial. Rare Atom's there because I know they, th I think they, they weren't the lowest seed that qualified from Asia. But I just have a feeling about them struggling in the major itself. I don't know what it is. I just got that vibe about them. I think it's that team. Every single major is a team that everyone thinks is going to go O and 3. Um, last time I think it was Legacy, and they didn't, um, but this time I think where Atom is, and then Imperial, I've looked at how the bracket falls, yes, there's best ones, and they might be able to cause a little upset here and there, but I think the chances of that are slim, and if the bracket falls roughly how I think it will, I've tried to, i built a few different variances in to see how it goes, it's likely that one of these teams should be going to 1-3. Now, my 3-0 is going to be where things get a little bit risky, because I am going to put Mongols in there. As I mentioned, I think Mongols have, I think personally, Mongols have potential this event. I'm not saying they're going to go win it. I'm not saying they're favourites, but I just think they're they're going to be the sleeper team for sure this event. Hopefully, they, they prove me right. And others have been putting uh, Furia in at 3-0. However, there's a high chance Furia play Mongols in the 2-0 stage match, which would like basically the qualification match to go 3-0. So I've had to pick Mongols over Furia there. Other ones people have been putting in are like Liquid, maybe VP making the run. I've seen a couple people putting big in, and when you see the bracket, I think you might agree with me that big, with this sudden surge of good performance, might be able to go 3 0. So I am, you know what? I got screwed over last opening stage because I played it super basic. I didn't take risks. This time, at least on the advancement stage, I'm trying to predict where these potential upsets will come through. Now, I think this time, though, when it comes to the 3 1 and 3 2 games, I think we can guarantee like three teams here that are going to make it through. Like, Passion UA's run has been amazing. I don't see them doing it. The teams I think will do it, I think Liquid are going to be in there. I'm not saying 3-1 at the 
you don't have to claim 3-1 or 3-2 here. It's just advancing, basically. I think Fury here are going to do it. I also think VP will do it. They've been inconsistent, but I think they'll be, do enough to get to this next stage. I also think Cloud9 will do it. I think they have uh, the potential to pull some upsets this event because they are incredibly low ranked. Um, or they were coming into, I think they were like 60th in actual TV coming into the RMRs. I have Peen going through. And then the last small I have here is between Complexity and Fnatic. And I've had, I think, say four different generator brackets. And in two cases, they can play each other in the 2-2 game. So this is the one... I'm going to leave down to you guys of who you think is going to go through. Now, as, as much as I do think it's going to be a coin flip, I'm going to giggy and go for the, the riskier side. Previous, I, previously, I would have said complexity, but they've been in so much turmoil while Fnatic are not... I looked at HLT Becker, so they're not doing stellar, but maybe they pick it up. They've got the players there. They might be able to make it through. So that is what I'm going to lock in as my opening stage picks. Obviously, feel free to go a completely different route with it. But this is what I think is going to happen. So I'm going to see if all picks now. Done and dusted. You'll see there as I did that, it then ticks off this place 10. So I need to get five of these correct. What we're really hoping for is to get one O3 correct, one 3 0 correct, and then get three of the remaining correct. And then that would take the five out of 10. Obviously, if we get 10 out of 10, that's great, but it doesn't change your potential of getting a diamond coin at that point. All you need is the five. Now, I did say I would show you guys the bracket, and I also have that linked down below if you want to have a look yourself. My face cam is covering it, but on the top left, it has majors.im, which is what it is. Um, it, this has been running for since I was getting involved in tracking majors, which was Rio. Um, it's been running all the time. You can go and see all the old ones. You can go through and change how the seating would have worked, the whole thing. Basically, what you can do is you can flip between who you think is going to win certain games. Now, I've already clicked it, but for example, if I want to say, okay, Game Religion will beat Furia, I just click there and you'll see how the bracket shuffles, but then I'll go back to Furia winning and it'll reset it to what I had. So, I mean, just to cover up the first round, that's the most important best of one situation. This is where there is the most upset potential, in my opinion, where it's kind of really iffy and i think that that's where some concerns are furia started slow and then picked it up i think they're going to continue that potential i think they'd be game religion vp over mibr is a massive worry for me personally but i'm sticking with gm and co gm don't let me down team liquid and cloud nine can go either way when i've done the bracket breakdown this doesn't change things too much but you can see it would probably hinder the likes of Fnatic going through so if you and obviously it depends how these round two round three and round four games go as well but that's the difference it can make so if you are like mindful of that maybe that influences your complexity over a Fnatic decision um complexity probably beat flight quest uh big over passion passion have been good but big look like they're on a bit of a heater Fnatic over wild card i can see a wild card upset coming in but overall i think the Fnatic boys have it unlocked I say Mongols are my favorite to go three and zero, and then I think P and B Imperial. Um, you can see ready what I put for the other results here in the one zero one matches, which get us to our advancement and our elimination. Um, if it goes as I think it will, we're gonna have Mongols Furia, which would be a great series. But I think the Mongols boys win that, and then we'd have Big and Liquid, and this Liquid team is going to get through, but they're so inconsistent. I could see a Big that's in form beating them. So I've kind of gam. I think Mongols is a very reasonable sort of thought through 3-0 pick. Um, however, I think Big is my risk one, which I've taken. Uh, the other ones then you see in the 0-1 matches and then the 0-2, you end up with um, Passion versus Imperial and Wildcard against Rare Atom. I think Wildcard will have enough to beat Rare Atom over a best of three. Um, this is if they even end up this far. As I say, there's a chance they could beat Fnatic at the start. And then you're talking Imperial and Passion. I'd like to think the Passion boys with what they've shown could win that game, especially with how shaky Imperial looks. So again, Rare Atom is my more confident 0-3 pick. Imperial, a little bit um, up in the air because they could spring a surprise. And then their final matches, if they went, I mean, FlyQuest and Wildcard can kind of go either way, but it doesn't change it too much. That actually means that you end up with this complexity fanatic still happening. So that's what I've done. But I would, I'll have this link down below. Watch, obviously you've watched my video if you watched it this far. Watch a couple of other people's videos. Launders are normally pretty good for pickums and um, fantasy and stuff like that. But watch that, use the bracket, and then get your pickums locked in and get in the Discord and share them to let me know who you've got the predictions for because it'll be great to have that conversation going through as the game starts to unfold who's getting screwed where's it going wrong and all of that goodness so thank you guys very much for watching as i say later today i'm going to have a video coming out covering all the stickers so if you're interested in that just give it a few hours it'll come out at the usual upload time of like 7 ish p.m uk time i'll see you to that Best of luck with the pickums. If it's your first time and you have any questions, hop in the Discord and ask the guys and myself. We'll be happy to help. And I said that one. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Good. Bye.